Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really exciting video for me because I have completely finished my bullet journal. I used up every single page in this guy. I had it for exactly one year from June 2017 to June of this year. Every single page is full. I really enjoyed my bullet journal journey, using my bullet journal, kind of like getting good at it. Um, it was so useful for so many things. I just, it was really helpful to have, and I don't know what I would have done without this all year. Let me, we are nearing the end of May, and that means that it is time to start June, but as you can see, once you hit the end, it goes into my ballet formations and ballet choreography, which has always been in the back of my book. So I always did all my ballet stuff in the back here, and I just kind of kept going back, and I finally caught up with myself. So, yeah, I'm really excited to start a new one. I don't know. Like, I'm, it's kind of cool that it takes me exactly one year to finish it. That's kind of good to know. I wish I had started it, like, January to January, but it is kind of going school year to school year, which I think is really cool as well. So, yeah, um, May wasn't super, like, full for me because I just didn't have any schoolwork really honestly this last couple months of May like I had a bit but just not really that much so there's kind of some blank spreads in here but I really made use of my habit trackers that was really helpful for me my YouTube growth thing I definitely should give myself a little more credit because I definitely surpassed that um, goal pretty quickly but yeah I'm really excited to start my new bullet journal for June so this is a Lich Germ 1997 1917 journal it is light blue it has a table of contents regular dot grid it has two ribbons um i like these ones but i definitely liked the ribbons in my old bullet journal better they were like uh satin ribbons this bullet journal was a tuker journal it had 192 pages i loved it a lot it really did exactly what i needed it to do this bullet journal is uh it has 251 pages so this is a considerably larger it has a little like pocket in the back for storing stuff and yeah i'm really excited to use it um so yeah let's just get started setting it up i'm gonna skip over the table of contents because i don't have anything to content right now <laughs> i'm just gonna go straight in i'm gonna actually skip one page i feel like the pages are definitely thinner I definitely feel a big difference in page thickness. I prefer the thicker pages, so I don't really know how this is gonna go with like bleeding and stuff. I've got them, so I'm gonna test it out really quick. I use Sharpie pens, um, so let's check that on one of the back pages, how it bleeds. Okay, so no, not really any bleeding. Like it's there, but it's not, huh. I don't really love that, yeah. I definitely wish the pages were a little bit thicker because as you can see in my old bullet journal, uh, I wrote in like all pen and there's like virtually no bleeding whatsoever. All of this is in Sharpie pen. There's no bleeding through. You can't see any of that. So it's a little disappointing that it does bleed, but that happens. Um, I will decide what I'm going to do about that. Probably as I go, I might have to switch to like a ballpoint pen instead of the Sharpie pen. But yeah, I'm gonna get started setting it up. The first thing I'm gonna do actually is write my name and my address, which I'm not gonna show you, but yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is like a big YouTube growth tracker, I think. I wanna just like track my growth kind of throughout the months, I think. So yeah. That's fun, it's kind of a goal to see if I can get to a thousand in a year. Probably wouldn't happen, but goals are important, so yeah. Also real quick before I continue, I'd love to know if you guys um, liked seeing my bullet journal videos. I stopped making them, so I'll totally go back to filming them if you like seeing them. So if you um, like this video, just give it a thumbs up so I know um, if you guys like these videos, and I will totally keep making them. Okay, so for the month of June, the theme I picked was lavender, so I just kind of want to do a simple title page nothing too fancy I'm just gonna write out June and then I want to use my Crayola markers to draw the lavender so I'm just gonna be using these three shades of the Crayola super tips and then I think I'm gonna throw in I have a couple lavender pens um instead of below markers that I might use maybe so 
I'm just gonna start with the lavender. I just make it by like just doing little circles, nothing complicated. My next page of my bullet journal is my budget tracker. Um, this page I really suck at keeping up with, but I think it's really important to use. Um, unfortunately, I just never... Yeah, I, I try to make it so it's a better setup so that I'm more motivated to keep up with it and I use it more. That's just been really hard for me for whatever reason, so... I'm just gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna do like a start and end at the very top. And then I have my no spending along the side there. And then over here I have like each of the different weeks. And I'm hoping to kind of dissect my spending a little bit more and see where most of my money is going. For my habits page, I'm keeping it pretty this pretty similar to last month's habit page with just a couple key habits there. And then I just kind of color in the blocks. I like that a lot because I can like focus on each habit and kind of see. So I'm just going to do that. And then I want to add some purple to it, so... And then for my first weekly spread, I kind of am going to do, like, a bunch of overlapping boxes, I think. The thing with June is just that, like, I have school this week, but there's going to be, like, no assignments due. And that's pretty much my primary point of my bullet journal is to use as a planner. I use it for other stuff as well, especially with um, ballet and stuff, but the ballet school year is ending, and all my ballet stuff is in my other bullet journal, which I'll continue to use. So, like, I'm just kind of doing a weekly spread because I feel like I should, but I probably won't get filled out much at all because for all of my events and kind of um, activities and stuff, those will all go in my phone calendar. I don't put those in my bullet journal just because I find that it's just more practical and more useful for me to put them in my phone. So only schoolwork goes in my journal. And there will be no schoolwork this week, so... Nice, so that weekly is finished. I like it. It's just simple. Cute. Uh, this page is my summer bucket list. I thought it would be a really, really fun idea, so I'm just going to kind of leave this blank for now. Actually, maybe I will fill it in. I just want to do all of the... I really want to have, like, an amazing summer this year because it's my last summer before college. Yeah, I really just want to have a really fun summer, so I hope that I get to complete these things. And I'll, like, complete them in purple to kind of add to the theme. And then, yeah, that is all I'm going to do for this weekly spread this week. It's really simple, just kind of, um, not a ton to it, but I like it. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed setting up my bullet journal with me. If you want to see more bullet journal videos, just give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Au revoir!